New developments tonight in a string of luxury vehicle thefts out of Golden Valley. Those thefts occurring at auto businesses. Charges are now filed against one of the alleged ringleaders in a case where a brand new six-figure Maserati was stolen. Fox 9's Paul Bloom joining us from Golden Valley PD. Paul, police believing that these thieves are actually using these pricey vehicles to commit more crimes. Yeah, Amy, Randy, you know, you might think a Maserati, a Porsche, a Cam Camaro, these suspects be risking a felony arrest to make some good coin, right? Uh, move these cars out of town, get them overseas, sell them, uh, do whatever. But no, turns out authorities believe uh, these guys are just using them to create more chaos and mayhem out on city streets. Brian Barriger and his distinctive facial and neck tattoos made it easier for authorities to quickly ID him as a ringleader in a recent string of high-end vehicle thefts from auto businesses in Golden Valley. Surveillance video taken from the Maury's Reconditioning Center earlier this month captured the thieves in action, ramming the garage door, then swarming inside. And all they would make off here was seven vehicles, including a brand new Maserati worth more than $120,000. These individuals have been using these uh, stolen vehicles to commit other serious crimes. Golden Valley Police uh, Chief Virgil uh, Green it tells me he believes law enforcement has now recovered all of those cars, as well as a Porsche stolen in a separate incident. As for Barriger, he was arrested late last week in a stolen blue Camaro. According to charges filed Monday, the 33-year-old attempted to run, reportedly ramming squads as law enforcement moved in. Authorities eventually disabling and pinning the car against a tree before taking Barriger into custody. Court records indicate the Sandstone man has 25 prior felony convictions, is currently on probation, and received what's known as a dispositional departure or less time on a felony vehicle theft conviction just last year in Mille Lacs County. Everybody deserves, uh, you know, to, to bond out of jail, but when you have a repeat offenders, these individuals really need to be somewhere where they do not commit these crimes because if this guy would have still been in jail, we would not have be, been dealing with uh, the, the seven or eight stolen cars we had in Golden Valley. Online records indicate Barriger was in front of a judge this afternoon. He'll return to court tomorrow. And just looking at the Hennepin County Court docket, it does appear Barriger has at least five open cases just in Hennepin, Hennepin County alone. We're live outside Golden Valley PD for you tonight. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, Paul, thank you.